Today I would like to tell you about our surprising result when we studied the question which factors at school age um, being symptoms or clinical test results predict having wheeze at adolescence. And wheeze is a whistling sound from the chest and the most common symptom of asthma. It's an important question because picture yourself having asthma, you want to know if you will still have symptoms in a few years. On the other hand, children that are at higher risk of continuing to have wheeze um, could benefit from a more careful follow-up and treatment. We found that reported symptoms um, are associated with having wheeze at adolescence. But surprisingly, expensive and time-consuming clinical tests did not. So to tell you how we came to that conclusion is that we studied over 100 children that were referred to two pediatric pulmonary outpatient clinics in Switzerland. And we asked them about their symptoms and we, um, uh, they performed a lot of clinical tests, such as lung function and allergy tests. And seven years later, at adolescence, we asked again, how is it going? Do you still have symptoms, and especially wheeze? And we found that children that report or reported wheeze um, triggered by pets, by pollen, or by exercise, was associated with having wheeze at adolescence. We found this with odds ratios between 3 and 5 using logistic regression. We have two key messages from these results. The first is that clinical tests might be important for diagnosis, but do not seem to help when we want to predict wheeze later in life. The second one is that children reporting we triggered by pets, by pollen, or by exercise at school age are, seem to be at higher risk of having wheeze at adolescence, and thus might benefit from a more careful follow-up and treatment. Our next steps are to communicate this back to the clinicians at conferences, international and nationally, and to um, further develop our prediction tool for asthma um, that we have based on reported symptoms only. Thank you for your attention.